In this video, we're going to take a look at using the TI-84 graphing calculator to calculate the confidence interval for two independent means. And we're specifically going to, going to look at the example where we have an unpooled variance in order to do this. Sometimes this is called the confidence interval for the difference in two means as well. So one of the first things that we have to do is we have to get the data into the, the calculator. And this is going to follow example one from the unpooled um, confidence interval. So to do that, we'll go into our stats menu and we'll choose edit. Now you can see I've already typed in the data. So list one is representing the test scores for the males and list two is representing the test scores for the females right here. And so once we have that typed in, we have to make sure that we have it in the correct list for the subtraction, everything else that's going to go on. Uh, we're gonna go back into the stats menu and if you go over to the tests options, this is where you're gonna find all the inferential stuff that deals with hypothesis testing and confidence intervals. And specifically, we're gonna look at option four, which is the two sample T, uh, not two sample T test. We're gonna look at the two sample T interval, which is down at option zero. So the two sample T interval is right there, option zero. We'll select that. And we had data, we typed our data into a list. If you didn't have data, you could choose statistics and you could manually type in the mean, the standard deviation, and the sample size for the respective groups. But since we have data, we're gonna use that. Now, one of the important things is the way that it's going to set it up and do the subtraction is it's gonna use list one subtracted from list two in terms of the means um, when it calculates the difference of the two means. So you have to make sure that you have those in the appropriate spots. The frequency will remain one for those. And then our confidence interval percentage for that is going to be a 95% confidence interval. Now this question below that says pooled right here, if you leave it as no, that's gonna be doing the unpooled variance in order to calculate the confidence interval. And that's what we wanna leave it on anyways. That's what, the one that we're gonna focus on in my classes at least. So now if we go down to calculate and hit enter, this will spit out the results of our confidence interval. So you can see that we have a lower bound of negative 8.293 and an upper bound of 13.806. And if you're following along and you're watching this um, after one of the other videos that I did on the confidence interval for two independent population means, you'll notice that the interval is slightly different. And that's because it's using the degrees of freedom from that more complicated formula, not the conservative method. So it's using 10.8769329 degrees of freedom in order to calculate that. So that's going to be slightly different and that's okay. And then it's using the exact value for the respective means and the standard deviations and the sample sizes when it goes through and it calculates that. So this gives us our lower bound and our upper bound for the uh, confidence interval on two independent means using um, the unpooled variance.